Welcome to the first official cooking tutorial video for the Fluffy Vegan. How are you guys doing tonight out there? Hope you're doing all right. We're about to get some serious cooking done in this kitchen and I'm so, so excited. The first recipe we're going to be doing is the Diddy Mac. It is one of my all-time favorite things to cook and it is one of my all-time favorite things to eat. Um, like I said earlier on the Facebook page, I am two years away from 30, so we're going to stuff our face with some macaroni and cheese because I'm not doing it. So here we go. All right, this is what you're going to need. First and foremost, a spoon that I am running around with, probably going to hit myself in the head. You are just going to need one pot. It is a one pot deal. Those are my favorite kind of dishes to cook. It's just a deep pot to like boil pasta and stuff in. Obviously, because we're making pasta, you're going to need a strainer because you got to strain it. And then last but certainly not least, you are just going to need like a decent sized casserole dish to go ahead and, and bake everything in um, once everything is, is done. I'm trying to see what size this is to help you out. We're so prepared here in the fluffy vegan kitchen. I hope you know that. But I am rocking my grandma's apron that she made for me. So y'all better recognize now. Now this has two and a half quarts. So for all you real cooking people out there, that's what size casserole dish um, this is two and a half quarts. I absolutely love it. Um, all right, so we're going to zip, zip, zip through it, like I said, with the power and magic of editing. So the first thing you're going to do is boil some water. Turn the sink on. And we're going to go ahead and just get us some water here. So simple, so simple. See how easy cooking is? You're already halfway there. You got water in a pot. So the water is boiling. I went ahead and added some sea salt to it just to kind of season the water. And you're just going to add the entire box. It's one whole box of pasta. Yum. Okay, guys. Pasta is done cooking. Uh, I strained it. It's back in the pot now. No water. I don't know if you can see the steam, but it's hot. Uh, we went ahead and preheated our oven to 350. That's what you're going to go ahead and preheat your oven to. Because after we do all of this jazz, last and final step is it all moves to the oven so everything can melt, everything can come together, and it is delicious. Trust me on this one. You're going to thank me. Just saying. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add all the ingredients that now go in and make this Diddy Mac the Diddy Mac. I'm going to do it really quick, and then I'm going to sit down with my bowl of macaroni and cheese, just chat with you guys. I'm going to break down what brands I like to use, my favorite butters, my favorite cheeses, my favorite pastas, all that stuff, seasonings, all that stuff. We are going to cover it, so don't you worry. This is just kind of like a fun video. Not that you don't know how to make macaroni and cheese, but you're just chilling with me here in my little kitchen, having some fun, cooking some baked macaroni and cheese, and we're having a good time. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to add is the almond milk. So we went ahead and poured that out. I'm so prepared that I have everything pre-measured and ready to go. All right, guys, this is not my first time now. Okay, this is the butter. Butter goes in next. Mm -mm. Don't believe what you read. Vegans are eating good out here. Vegans are eating good out here. These are all the seasonings. Boom, one time. I'm like Elm Roll. All right, so then you're going to go ahead and stir all that up, and then we're going to go ahead and add an entire bag of Daya. I will mention that brand as many times as I can. Uh, Daya mozzarella cheese. The entire bag goes in there. Now we have the and cheese, the butter, the almond milk, all the seasonings. What you're going to do is you're going to want to stir, 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 like low to medium heat, just to kind of melt everything together. And then we're going to take it from this pot to the casserole dish, and then from the casserole dish is we're going to go ahead and move it right into the oven. And we're going to bake it for like 15 to 20 minutes. I know it's so long because it already smells so good. 15 to 20 minutes, and then you're all ready to grub. Okay, guys, so we dumped everything into the casserole dish. As you can see, just throw it all in there. There's no rhyme or reason. There's nothing fancy. Just fill your casserole dish. Oven has been preheated to 350, and we're going to pop open the oven. And you're going to put it closest to your heat source. So if your heat source in your oven is on the top, put it on the top rack. If your heat source in your oven is on the bottom, you're going to put it on the bottom rack. So my heat source is on the bottom. So I'm going to place this beautiful thing on the bottom. It is hot. My makeup is melting off. Okay. 
15 to 20 minutes at 350 it bakes. It all right, so we are all done. Oven is off. It's been 15 to 20 minutes. What you're going to want to do is just kind of keep an eye on the pasta. And when it starts to bubble around the edges and everything's melted, you are ready to go. So we are going to sweat my makeup off again. Holy Toledo. We're going to go ahead and take it out of the oven. So pretty. I wish you could smell this. Oh, it's hot. Okay. And you're just going to let it sit <laughs> for like five, ten minutes because um, it is very, very hot. You can hear it bubbling. I wish you could hear it bubbling. Shh. You can't hear that. I don't know why I'm being quiet. Um, so I am going to go pop a squat at um, our lovely kitchen table. I'm going to get... Hello. I'm going to gather. We keep it all in there. The bloopers and everything, man. I'm going to go get, gather all the ingredients so you guys know what favorite brands I love to use um, because I do have my favorites. And we're going to sit, chat, have a couple of bites of macaroni and cheese, have a good time, and I'm going to see you in like two seconds because we're going to edit this all down. You don't know what's going to be minutes in between. Why am I telling you? Because we keep it real here at the Fluffy Vegan. That's why I love you. That's why you love me. Okay, I really want to eat this, so I'll see you at the table. Bye-bye. All right, so, drum roll. Ta-da! The Diddy Mac and Cheese. Okay, so now we're sitting at my lovely, lovely kitchen table in my kitchen. It's hot. Um, as you can see, this humidity is kicking my hair's ASS. Holy Toledo! But I love you, so we're going to post this video. No shame in my game. I'm still rocking my grandma's apron. Hey, now. Okay, so we're going to go over all the brands that I use um, that I use in this video. I know the video was really, really quick. It's just to kind of show you to have some fun in the kitchen um, and how I go ahead and do it and just have some laughs along the way. It's really just kind of me saying hi to you guys once again like I do with the posts and with Facebook and everything else. It's just me saying what's up. Okay, so the brand for pasta, Barilla, I know you guys noticed this little lovely thing, gluten-free, um, vegan by choice, uh, gluten-free, not by choice. Uh, so, Barilla was the, the brand of pasta that I have used forever. Before I went vegan, Barilla was in my cabinets. After I went vegan, Barilla stayed in my cabinets. And then God bless their hearts, uh, when I had to go gluten-free, Barilla said, don't worry, Tasha, we got you. Boom, here it is. Uh, for this recipe, we used one entire box of elbows. Um, don't worry, I'm going to go ahead and put everything down for you. The steps, the ingredients, the measurements on the Facebook page, on the website, and also on the YouTube page. So don't worry. I know I'm kind of talking fast because I'm just chatting with you guys. Um, but I am going to go ahead and make it super simple. So you can take your time and you can do this recipe when you want to do this recipe and you have something to go ahead and um, look back and forth at so you're not trying to listen to me as I go crazy and talk about how the humidity has killed my hair. So that's the pasta Barilla gluten-free pasta. I absolutely love you. Um, they do make a wheat pasta Barilla. If you're not gluten-free, they make a wheat pasta and they also make a veggie pasta. Both are delicious because before I went gluten-free, I used to eat both of them. Um, Barilla is a great brand. I love them, love them, love them. Now, if y'all have been following the Fluffy Vegan, y'all already know how much I love me some Daya cheese. You guys already know this. If you know the Fluffy Vegan, you know Daya cheese is always somewhere near on a post, somewhere near on the Facebook page. Just scroll down. You'll run into it eventually. Um, for this recipe, we use an entire bag. I don't play. Entire bag of the mozzarella. Listen, I could read these ingredients to you because I, quite frankly, do not know how they make this stuff taste so yummy. I'm convinced it's made with magic and love, but I don't see those under the ingredients. So I think that they're just trying to keep that on the DL. But the secret ingredients to Daya Cheese is magic and love. I just told you guys, you're welcome. Um, this is my favorite brand of fake cheese and I've tried a lot of them. When I went vegan I wasn't playing around. I needed to find a fake cheese ASAP. That was about two years ago. A little over two years ago. And Daya Cheese absolutely love them. They also make Are You Ready? They make sliced cheese. They make blocks of cheese. They make frozen pizzas. 
they make cream cheese. Um, they're just a hot mess and I absolutely love them. They're a hot mess in a good way. All their stuff is dairy free, gluten free, soy free. Yes, even their pizzas. Um, I absolutely love this company. If you have any kind of food allergy, uh, Day of Cheese really has you covered. I absolutely love them. Big props um, to Day of Cheese because they are staying true to who they uh, serve and I absolutely love them for that. The milk, like in um, regular baked macaroni and cheese, you would do like a condensed milk or anything like that, cream, depends on what your recipe would call for, pre-vegan. Um, I go ahead and use this bad boy, Blue Diamond Original Unsweetened Almond Milk. This is the only milk that I also drink. Um, it obviously has a million flavors and I love Blue Diamond for that. Their chocolate milk is one of my favorites. If you know me, you know I love me some chocolate milk. I never outgrew that. Um, and they make a delicious chocolate milk. They also have iced coffee. Hello. Um, conveniently for you in a uh, container. A lovely little carton. I absolutely love Blue Diamond. I love almond milk. Again, it's another soy-free thing. Um, so it's really, really great. I love it. And also gluten-free. This Everything I will ever make is going to be gluten-free because obviously... I ain't cooking food that I can't eat now, y'all. Um, but I, I, I will go ahead and tell you if there's other options that aren't gluten-free. As far as milks goes, you can do like a soy milk or anything like that. I just love me some almond milk and I love that brand. Okay, last and not least as far as brand goes in this video, Earth Balance Butter. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love them. There's not that many vegan butters out there on the market. Um, but you know what? If there were a million... I would still use these guys. I absolutely love them. Um, I used to do the red container, which was the only soy-free one. But now, if you'll see, olive oil, soy-free. So I'm very, very, very happy um, that I now have another option. So they do tubs of butter like this. And then if you're a baker, uh, which I am not, if you're a baker, they also make sticks of butter. Or if you prefer to use sticks of butter, they also do make sticks of butter. I absolutely, absolutely love them. And Earth Balance, if you like go on their website and things like that, they make other brands too. They're not just butter. Um, but the main thing that I use from them is, is their butter. So the only other thing that kind of went into the recipe was all the seasonings. I don't have a specific brand of seasonings that I use. Whatever is the least expensive dried oregano that you can find, you put it in your cart and you go to the cash register. That's how I roll. Um, these recipes are not going to cost you a million dollars. Sometimes people think that because you eat vegan, you have a million dollars to spend on groceries. I do not. Um, and also they think if you eat vegan that it's very snotty. It is not. This is just good old fashioned comfort food, macaroni and cheese. Sure, you could add some broccoli to it. I'm actually going to steam some broccoli in a couple of minutes so I can bring it to lunch for tomorrow. But for the most part, I just grub on macaroni and cheese. Okay, let's not try to act like this is something that it's not. Um, so you can go ahead and and use whatever brand of spices you want to use. I actually keep all my spices extras because it's New York living. There's not a lot of room. I keep them in a box under my bed because they come from Connecticut. And I absolutely love my little cheap brand of spices that I can only find in Connecticut, my home, my home state. And uh, that's where I store everything. So whatever is the least expensive for spices, you go ahead and pick them up. I'm also going to try to really, really hard um, to use spices that are usually in your cabinet already. Um, I'm not going to do anything cray cray crazy. Uh, but like oregano, parsley, basil, those are all things that are in this recipe. And like I said, don't worry, I'm going to have everything typed out for you. Um, and that's really it. Baked macaroni and cheese, the Diddy Mac. It is the first official fluffy vegan cooking video. I hope you had fun. I had fun. It's hot. I'm sweating, but I put on lip gloss. That should count for something, shouldn't it? Um, I had so much fun joking around with you guys, recording myself. If only you could see the bloopers. I'm a mess. And usually when I mess up, I go into a weird song and dance. I don't know what happens in my mind when I get a little tongue-tied. I think that that means it must be time to sing and dance. I don't know. I'm going to go and grub on this baked macaroni and cheese. You know how I end every post. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm having so much fun. This is just like a sidebar now that I'm 
looking at myself in my iPad screen. I hope you guys are enjoying the Facebook page. I hope you guys are enjoying all the posts, are enjoying um, the website. And I love that a good amount of you are kind of going on this crazy ride with me and you're commenting on things and you're sharing things and you're, you're liking things. And I absolutely love it. I'm having so, so much fun. So thank you so, so much. Um, because if it wasn't for all you watching this video and following the Facebook page and going on the website and still going to the original blog, I would just be cooking macaroni and cheese for myself, talking to myself. That's what I'd be doing. But instead I'm talking to you and I love it. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. If you have any recipes, if you make this and added something to it and you want to let me know, please let me know. You know where you can find me. I'm all over the dang place. I'm on Facebook like someone is paying me to be on Facebook and ain't nobody giving me a check to be on Facebook. Um, so please let me know if you try the recipe. Uh, let me know what you thought about it unless you hate it. Um, if you could you just keep that to yourself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're not going to hate it because it's so darn yummy. I'm not going to put stuff on here that you guys aren't going to love. All right. You know how I do. Stay fluffy, ladies. Tasha out. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.